Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Ethiopia, and we're currently the only country who's actually actively fighting the Italians. Only that right now we're not fighting, we're retreating. We have retreated, and uh, we have found our positions. So, the very first thing I'm going to do, and this is actually something I haven't tried, so this is going to be experimental, is I am going to draw front lines, because as you can see right now, uh, there, there are no orders for the divisions, which is kind of useful if you want to move them around. But um, what I'm what I'm keen on is to set offensive lines. Not that we're going to use the offensive lines, but uh, it'll give us a planning bonus, and uh, that is something that we definitely want. So I'm going to try. Actually, we can't do that yet because we we have to wait for the Italians to 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 take our territory and then we can do that but we do have five command po uh, command power so we can uh, get a new commander and uh, that is a general Saleh Makonnen who is going to be promoted to field marshal but we're going to need 40 command power for that so that's going to take a while also I've been I have been che double checking my notes and I actually uh, last time I, I, I attempted this I did go with the uh, meticulous preparation for more planning and logistics because we're fighting in Africa and fighting in Africa is always a problem of logistics so uh, that might that might also be a might not might not be bad but uh, maybe this round around I'm gonna go for the bold attack and uh, just get the 50% chance to uh, to get an, another attack level up but uh, yeah that's not something uh, that's not something we're we're necessarily going to be doing right now because the first 50, the first 50 uh, military exp army experience is going to go towards getting the doctrine. But for now, we're just going to wait for the... And I'm going to bump it up to, to three speed here. We're just going to wait for the Italians to, to come in. And we will see the first attacks happening against our, uh, against our lines. Now, the construction of the fortress is slow. And we've, we've got 16% completed. So as, and as, obviously, as soon as they attack, um, as soon as they attack, the the the, the construction is going to stop. But uh, we are starting to build our organization back up, which uh, is taking a while because of also because of the low infrastructure. So this is also something that uh, that you you can do sort of uh, ex uh, sort sort of instead of. And I'm going to reduce that to one. Sort of instead of building fortress. You can start building infrastructure, but we're going to be trading away our factory soon anyway, so uh, that is no longer going to be a concern. So, getting getting the Italians to come in. Uh, for now, we should be relatively evenly matched, and we do have the we do have the uh, ten percent entrenchment. So we're just waiting. At this point, we're just waiting for the Italians to to walk through the countryside and make their way in. So far we have lost 222 uh, casualties. The Italians have lost no casualties and they're obviously vastly superior to whatever we're having here. Okay, so here is the first assault happening. And um, this is kind of something we were gonna be seeing a lot. Now the Italians are still using airplanes, but uh, they will stop that eventually. Uh, probably because they think they are so powerful that they don't need them and um, or because they're running out of oil i don't know either of them but uh, they have a soft attack of 13 which is uh, taking a negative modifier because we are in uh, they're, they're starting out with a base value of 36 which is more than what we have so these divisions are more powerful than ours but uh, because we're in the mountains and currently it's night uh, things things uh, don't don't work out so well for them and uh, their breakthrough so their defense during the attack is at 13 as well uh, due to due to terrain and they do get a bit of a buff from the they have they do have a tw base value of 20 if we compare that to uh if we compare that to what we have not here on these divisions we have a breakthrough of uh what is that eight so they um they either have larger divisions yeah they probably have larger infantry divisions i don't think they have any artillery necessary on them but uh, I can't be sure. But uh, we are, uh, as you can see, we're not doing an awful lot of damage because even though they have a relatively low breakthrough, we're not going to do a lot of damage in return. That's what we want. We want that number to be higher than that number, such that they take casualties while attacking us. 
uh, we have a relatively high defense stat, so it's going to be uh, due to entrenchment, uh, due to our country, uh, and uh, the, the, uh, the country value comes from the war support because it gives us a division attack and division defense on core territory. And uh, yeah, and and what we want is that stat to be higher than that stat. So they start taking uh, taking losses. Uh, they will eventually start wearing us down. But uh, given that our defense is at least for uh, at least for most of our divisions is significantly higher than their offense, uh, we should be okay to um, we should be okay uh, for a while to uh, to hold them as as is. So. Uh, Right now, they're not getting through there. <laughs> That's the short and narrow of it. But what that means also is we can get these divisions and give them a front line here. And we can give them an offensive line up to the north. Uh, we're not going to attack, but what, we, what we're trying to do here is build up a planning bonus. This, uh, this will, down the road, this will, uh, this will go away because uh, they will be starting to, once they've built their intelligence agency, they will be using their spies to figure out what we're, uh, like what, uh, what kind of um, what kind of plans we we're having, and um, and then they will uh, they will negate the planning bonus. But uh, until then, we can sort of build that up, and uh, it'll give us it'll give us uh, it'll give us a bit better stats in the meantime. So again, this is not something I've actually tried. I have never used that defensively, but we'll find out if it works. Uh, obviously, the Italians the Italian air force is is underway here, but. Um, I think they will stop that eventually. Once they 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 think they're close enough to 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 attacking. And honestly, if they kept if they kept dropping us from the air, historic as as is historic as has happened historically, then we wouldn't be standing a chance anyway. So um, the other thing that I want to do is uh, I want to see if I can ask uh, if I can ask people for guns and. At the at the onset of the war, not many people have guns. So if we were looking at our foreign relations and see who likes us. There are plenty of countries who actually like us, but most likely none of them has guns available. So like if we ask, um, uh, they they can't anyway because they're they're non-aligned. So the non-aligned can't trade with us or can't send us lend lease because they need a world tension at forty percent. Uh, the and that, that rules out that rules out a lot already. I think the only ones who currently can are communists and fascists. And the problem is none of these people like us particularly much. But um, uh, I think Mongolia and Tanutuva might have guns. So uh, can we? We can check. So it says they're not. Um, they will not accept because they don't have equipment. Okay, so that's. So don't need to worry about them just yet. Uh, Tanutuva. They will not accept. They could send us guns. But uh, we're going to wait a little bit until we improve our relations with them because that costs political power. And I want to get... Uh, although... Yeah, we, we, I don't think they have an awful lot yet. But they can't really... They're building guns, but they can't really uh, use them because they have no no manpower. So uh, we can ask them to send us guns. And uh, that's going to be that's gonna be extremely useful. But we'll do that... We'll probably do that towards end of January. That gives them a little bit more time to, um, to build up a stockpile. And uh, now they are actually starting to attack us here, which is very unusual. They don't, they don't usually do that from what I've seen in previous in previous rounds. But uh, yeah, they're not getting through here, and uh, it it only means that uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that persists because usually they don't attack here. If they if they do keep attacking here, then I'll have to change the whole strategy because that usually is the one d uh, province that they tend not to assault. So we'll have to see if that if that persists or not. But yeah, the, uh, these battles and. Uh, uh, we we will be able to see them see them here once um, on, once once they're over. Uh, they they will be costly for us due to the Italian uh, the Italian air. But uh, the Italians are also taking attrition by um, well where where by where they are they are in the mountains. 
So uh, things things don't go too well for them. For them. And between assaults, our divisions can uh, can recover, and uh, we can now actually check. Yeah, so uh, we have lost uh, 200, 260 men. The Italians have lost 139, and they have lost 13 infantry equipment and one support equipment. We've lost 40 infantry equipment so far and recovered a little bit. The other thing that we're going to be working towards uh, eventually, not quite yet, but eventually, is um, the uh, maintenance companies, because the maintenance companies give us a 5% equipment capture ratio. That's going to be effective but we, we need support equipment for that and in order to build support equipment and uh, hey, we have no industry for any of this but that'll be that'll be helpful in um that will be helpful in giving us uh, in, in letting us capture enemy equipment so whatever is uh, like that here we will uh, we will be able to we will be able to capture that now this is red but it's not going to be red forever it means we're losing, but it's going to take the Italians a long time because what they effectively have to manage to do is is deorg us, and uh, as you can see, it's not happening. So they drop, and then they start the assault again, and this is what's going to happen over and over and over for the next two years. <laughs> but uh, this, uh, they're, they're not getting through there just yet. Uh, unfortunately, that means we we have a positive. Uh, a positive supply of infantry equipment that is going to change once we switch to the more modern equipment um, we may actually already start uh, yeah it's 25th of January so we will we will ask uh, Tanutuva we do need to improve our improve relations with them which costs uh, 10, 10, 10 political power initially so this is costly but uh, uh, it'll allow us to it'll allow us to uh, to to get some guns for free, which it's probably worth. So um, we'll start improving relations. It's also an ongoing cost, so we kind of have to keep an eye on that. So while while the the battles are raging here, and yeah, that, that's just something that you're going to get have to get used to. This is going to be like that for a long, long time. Um, we are improving our relations and then we will try to get uh, land lease and we'll see how much we do we need actually for them to accept. Um, so they have a base reluctance of 20. So we need to have them like us uh, by 20 roundabout-ish. So. Okay, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. For now, let's, just, uh, let's watch the... Um, Let's watch the uh, the happenings. And the, the Italians have have stopped assaulting for now. Uh, they are just taking attrition. Okay, now they start fight, uh, they start attacking Addis Abeba, which is what they're going to be doing for a long, long time. And uh, this is going to be one of the core battles uh, where we are going to have to hold because they're just attacking from one side and they already got a combat with the 100. So this place is wide open and it's going to be difficult as heck to defend. Uh, let's see, are they going to send us guns? Not yet. Um, we'll, we'll see how far we need to get. Okay, let me quickly get the get the front line set up. So we'll put an offensive line there. And these guys, so the, the, the downside of doing it like that is going to be that once I start shuffling divisions, I have to I have to move them, otherwise they move back. So that's going to be a little bit more manual work. But I'm curious to see if we are getting um, getting a bonus already. So if we look at these five divisions, uh, they have um, and they don't have a. Uh, they don't have a planning bonus. These guys have a planning bonus already. These guys don't have a planning bonus just yet. It's only two. It's only two percent. But uh, I'm curious to see if that's that's probably going to be in the country modifier. I'm not sure if that's going to show up separately or if that's going to be in the country modifier. But okay, uh, we'll let that go. And we do need to keep an eye on uh, Tanutuva and see if they can send us some guns because guns are going to be helpful because our divisions are under strength, which is not something we want. So do we, are we able to get, um, so we get 10, okay, we need to go up to 40. We get uh, for 20% opinion, 20 points opinion, we get 10 points of um, acceptance for lend lease. So we do need to get up to 40. Uh, let's keep an eye on things. 
we are uh, we, we we are winning in in the sense of uh, uh, we've we've lost one thousand six hundred. They've lost seven hundred so far. So they they are causing higher casualties than we do, which is not something we would like. Well, it's not a not a good place for us to be in, but. Um, uh, it's a it, it's something we have to accept for now. We really, really need to get the fighting power of these divisions up. And the first step towards that is to just uh, deal with our deficit. Okay, uh, that should be sufficient for us to request land lease from them. Uh, no, we need one more. Okay, so just uh, let's get, give it another tick or so. Let's see if it works now. Nope, still not. Okay, so so we need we need uh, another another day to pass now we're at 43 and they will accept to send us guns so we'll ask them to send us guns and then stop improving relations because that is costly so that'll take a while it'll take months for the guns to arrive but um, uh, i think the other country we can ask is mongolia let's check if uh, mongolia has guns uh no they don't have guns just yet so uh, we, we could ask Germany to send us guns, which would have been historically accurate. The problem is Germany doesn't have any because they don't have guns. So uh, they don't have any to spare. But uh, we will keep trying and we will eventually ask Germany for assistance because, again, that is historically accurate. How's our fortress construction? Okay, fortress construction is coming along. Uh, yeah, and they send us 46 guns, which is not an awful lot, but we'll take it. You know, it's It's free stuff. Uh, we'll we'll ask them again in um, we'll ask them again in the future. So all throughout 1936, we will be asking we will be asking for guns where we can. The Soviets don't have any, but uh, we'll we'll try as much as possible to ask people to send us guns. Uh, was there anybody else who actually uh, liked us? Um, so uh, next delivery expected in 27 days, and that should be. Uh, that should be the 46 guns that they can spare, which is an awful lot, but um, it's a start. Um, Venezuela is fascist as well, but I don't think they have guns either. Uh, no, they don't have guns. So we will literally have to wait for everybody to build up their military stockpiles before we can ask them for surplus. But surplus is what we're going to ask for. And we are still positive in, in that we produce more, uh, that we are producing more guns than we are losing and and uh, so far the fights have been somewhat inconclusive well, which which is all good if they're not attacking us that means we can build up our entrenchment and our planning bonus again i'm not sure about the planning bonus but all my troops are currently trained so they don't get any negative modifiers okay let's have a look at the attack again because these five divisions should now have yes they have a, a 24 percent uh, uh plan preparation uh, is that go giving us anything? Uh, that's entrenchment, country, and commander skill. And that is entrenchment, country, commander skill, and uh, tactical. It doesn't look like. So it looks like this is really only. Uh, this is really only useful for. Uh, da -da -da -da. Once they start fighting with. The the plan or moving away this bonus will begin ticking down again yeah uh, i think this is purely for for if we are on the attack so uh, this isn't particularly this isn't particularly helpful for us actually so i might as well just delete these again because it looks like it looks like we get no uh we get no value out we need no value out of that um entrenchment terrain yeah uh, I, I can I can remove this because it, it doesn't give us any value. So it was just an experiment. I hadn't tried this before, but um, it doesn't do anything. So we might as well just not do it. Okay, and here we are uh, getting shot at. Now the one thing, the next thing that we're waiting for is for the political effort to complete. And the very first thing we're going to do is getting ourselves the infantry expert because he is going to improve our defense. Uh, that is the one value that uh, that he's actually going to be going to be able to, to to tick up quite significantly and yeah as you can see the italian divisions because we have we are defending in mountainous terrain are having are having a devil of a time but um they are 
they are relentless. That is the thing. They are absolutely relentless. And now obviously our construction is halted because uh, there's a battle in this in this uh, province. And as long as there's a battle, you know, nobody is actually going to build a fortress. So we'll try to complete this fortress. Uh, and we have to keep an eye. We've got 80 days until the better infantry equipment. Until then, we're just going to build the old guns. But uh, that's the next thing. And very slowly, our army experience is trickling up. That's also what we need the advisors for, because, uh, yeah, that, uh, the, uh, that'll give us army experience. Now, you might be asking, Terry, why are you not doing this on 5-speed? Because we do have to keep a very, very close eye on the organization stat. Because if our divisions de-orc, if our divisions lose organization, they will retreat. And that means if they move into any of these four provinces, we, then it's game over. So we cannot, we cannot let that happen, which means we need to move divisions out of other provinces to reinforce before we lose one province. So we're going to have to keep a very, very close eye on things. The other thing that's good is that our divisions are now becoming trained. So for example, this one here, the uh, Sidamo Safari. Let's have a look where they are. Uh, Sidamo Safari, yes. So uh, these guys are actually um, are actually starting to become uh, experienced. So they get uh, they get positive combat modifiers, which is great. So uh, a lot of good things happening. And I'm really surprised that they're attacking here. Okay, political effort is done. Pause. I'm surprised that they're attacking here. They're not usually doing that. Uh, as long as it's only one division, I'm not too concerned about it. But normally they tend not to. They tend to ignore this um, this province here. So uh, that is a bit concerning. But we'll see what we do about it. Anyway, we have um, we have enough political power to get the infantry expert. And the next one we're going to get is the uh, army regrouping expert. So this this is where we're going to spend the first uh, political power on these two. We start with the infantry expert. And uh, that unfortunately also uses 20 command power, but uh, we needed that. So we need to still get that up to 40 in order to promote our field marshal. But for now, um, for now, that's uh, that will that will go into the into the country stat. And you've seen it, you've seen it just there. So the country stat just went from what was it like six percent or or so to 21 percent, and that's the 15 percent from the 15 percent defense. So these were actually 15% points or, uh, that get applied. And uh, that's, that's kind of where these values are coming from. Now, uh, the 10% on the offense is, is there as well. So uh, we, are, we are starting to do a little more damage. The problem is our infantry divisions are not doing enough damage to begin with. So all these percentage modifiers go to waste. But you can see how this can snowball if we're, if we're careful about it. All right, so the next thing we do is and yeah we're nowhere near 50 so we don't need the armor effort yet we're going to do the industrial effort uh that's going to what we're going to be doing first uh, to try to get ourselves a bit more production capacity and I'm, I'm really surprised okay so they have stopped sending the air force in because at this point and i am going to switch off the uh the news here um because it's, it's not all that interesting for us uh, but yeah at this point we have applied to the league of nations to please stop the italians and the British and the French have kind of looked the other way and said, mm, yeah, about that. <laughs> uh, turns out uh, some country in Africa is less valuable than the, pr pr the prospect of getting Italy on their side to block the Germans. Well then, that's disappointing. Uh, how is this going on? Uh, next delivery expected in two days, so we will get a little bit. Uh, we'll try that again. We'll try that again in... Um, in in uh, once once that is complete, uh, how, how's Mongolia doing? Um, do they have guns now? Uh, they don't have guns yet. So uh, was it just these two? Let me double check my notes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, Mongolia and Tanu Tuva are the only one who can actually give you weapons in 1936, I believe. So yeah, uh, and yes, this also. This also uses up our convoys, so uh, actually it doesn't because we we have a land bridge through the British, so um, that works. But uh, right now we are just defending, and 
I might have to build a fortress here in Harar because this is really unusual. I, I think this is the first run where they would actually start attacking. So I'm going to put a fortress up here, which is not something I'm happy about because I really didn't want to do that. But um, they are cycle attacking. They are cycle attacking Harar at the moment, which is not something they, ne they generally do. Normally they tend to focus on Addis Abeba with this setup. So um, this is normally my, my recovery province. Because I need one. I need one province where I can retreat to to let troops recover. I can't. I can't be fighting in all four provinces all the time, because uh, that's just um, unsustainable. So we're going to try and get another fortress up there. Uh, while we are very slowly working down our deficit in firearms. But uh, yeah, this is this is uh, disconcerting that they are attacking there. That has not. That that does not. Your, hasn't happened in any of my previous test runs. So. Uh, we'll see if that persists, but we'll have to sort of wing it here and not go by the uh, established strategy. It looks like they're... no, no, they're attacking on all, on the whole front. Normally only three. Okay. Well, we'll ha it's not that they're going to break us there easily, but we can't use it to uh, recover divisions. And uh, that is going to break us if we if this, is, if this keeps happening. Because you can see these divisions are starting to lose... Uh, organization. Some of them are almost at half organization from these from these relentless attacks, and uh, I will I will have to start cycling them cycling them out. So uh, if they keep attacking here, then um, then that's pretty much game breaking, because if we can't hold this, we can try to hold three three three, but it's uh, th it means that they ha get another uh, yeah. It becomes like an order of magnitude more difficult if you're not holding, if you're if you're not separating the two armies. So, um, I'm very very surprised that they do this, and yeah, we do need to keep an eye on these troops here because, uh, as you can see, these are starting to run low on, starting to run very low on, um, uh, very low on, uh, on organization. And that means we're actually going to need our political power very quickly to employ the... Uh, yeah, we can't let them retreat necessarily. I mean, we will have to let them retreat, but we might have to cycle with... Um, we might we might have to cycle with this, uh, with this province here, if necessary. Okay, that research is done. Um, we do need radios, so that is the next... That's the next one. Uh, I don't want to move them. But as you can see, this division here is uh, at organ is 13 organization, and it's going to this division is going to break uh, uh, under this assault here because we've got nine Italian divisions coming in, and uh, uh, this division here is going to break under under the assault. So I am going to have to at this point. Uh, that concerns me, but uh, they're not attacking here right now, so I may be able to get the Mountaineer Divisions, which is which is on full organization almost, uh, to reinforce Addis Abeba, which breaks their entrenchment, and get these guys to, uh, to retreat already. So we're going to start cycling them out. It is a bit earlier than this normally happens. Usually I don't have to start cycling out until middle of the year, but um, uh, we're retreating that division, we're getting a fresh division in, and uh, uh, yeah, moving around breaks the entrenchment and causes additional attrition, so that's all bad. Now, we, they're, they're in reserve, and this is where the reinforcement uh, rate comes in. That's where we need radios, because they need to make their way in. And now, again, uh, we are under assault across the whole front line, which is extremely unusual. They're not assaulting heat. No, they are assaulting all four, division, uh, all four provinces. Okay. Um, we are going. We are about to um, this this division. Unfortunately, now I hope they are not actually engaged. No, they are engaged. So uh, they need to stop that assault. I'm going to leave it for now. But uh, we do have to be very careful here. Um, we're going to lose another division here, and these guys are under assault. So I'm going to retreat already one from here, and I'm going to get this division to retreat there. So we're moving one division over, and uh, uh, these two are not holding. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Now they're force attacking, so they are. Uh, this is this is this is about to this is about to break honestly. So uh, that's gonna get interesting. Well, we'll see how the we we'll see how it works out. How's our how's our arms shipment? Okay, it looks like Tanutuva 
has sent the guns. Um, they can send us a bit more guns, but right now I need the political power to get the division recovery. Uh, so we'll get one more political power. Uh, let's see. Okay, 100 political power. We need the uh, army regrouping expert. Okay. And uh, and now the they have stopped the assaults on the central positions, but they are keeping the the pressure up here on the in Harar, uh, which is not good. But uh, these guys can now start recovering a little bit. And um, we are actually losing losing more infantry equipment than we're making, and that is not good as well. Uh, industry efforts are going to be key to that uh, to get uh, to get a couple more couple more factories in uh, they're sent they're attacking with four divisions here and this does not normally happen I am gonna have to retreat another division here and reinforce these guys because yeah these are not gonna hold I'm gonna have to retreat the mountain division over here and see if we can hold that um, I might uh, this can hold with two they might be able to they might have to hold with one actually but let's see for now um, we're gonna try and get that division out the problem is they will be immediately under combat again if they if they retreat so um, that is not particularly great <laughs> okay let's see so we've got reinforcements they just need to make it in uh, that's a uh, that's that is a a full health division so uh, we are going to reinforce there. These are holding. Uh, these are holding, but these... Okay, they have stopped the attack. Okay, whew. Whew, that was close. Okay, so uh, we'll let, let these recover and dig in. Um, these four these four are now one under strength, but uh, there should be... F I'd, I'd normally like to have five here, but uh, we will see if they now stop uh, if they now stop that nonsense. We're almost done with the fortress. Nope, they keep, they're still attacking here. That is really obscure. I've never seen this happen, that they attack this province. They normally, ne they normally never touch this province. But uh, they're really trying to join the, uh, the divisions here. So um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, these four are starting to wear down a little bit. Um, these two are a little bit... Well, they're still under attack, so... Um, I am sort of feeling that we have to leave, yeah, we're going to have to leave these three divisions here because they are cycle charging, but uh, we're going to get one division here uh, to bring the strength back up to five because we are starting to run really low on organization here. And uh, just keeping an eye on things, how's the fortress construction? Okay, it's so almost done, almost done. Uh, 490 out of 500. Okay, almost done. Um, that may dissuade them a little bit from attacking. They're still force attacking here. How are the how are the losses now looking? Um, combat losses. Uh, we've we've lost. Uh, we have lost uh, almost um, uh, seven, almost seven thousand troops, uh, a thousand of them into against enemy air power. But um, we are tr starting to trade favorably against the Italians. That did not. That battle didn't go well. Um, we are starting to lose a lot of com equipment in combat. So are the Italians. But they have the industry to back that up, and we don't. So um, we need to find a way to stop them attacking Harar. And I hope that... Uh, I do hope that the, getting the fortress going here... But of course, as soon as they, as soon as they cycle charging, uh, it's not happening. Uh, we need to retreat... Uh, where are we going? Where can we retreat to? Um, we need to retreat this division. We're going to retreat them there because we're moving one division out from here. Okay, industrial effort is done, which means we are now. Uh, let me double check my my notes. Um, in which order did I need to do this? Um, da -da -da -da, political industry. Uh, we have 18 we might we might need to do the army effort first because that gives us the uh, five army experience uh, we are getting we're getting a daily gain of point 18 so 
uh, we are getting 1.8 for 10 days so this is a 70 days so it's round about um, round about 14 uh, yeah we're getting relatively close to the 50 so I think I'm going to go for um, uh, if I if I do the armament effort first, then we're not having any any factories to um, to build the fortresses. I'm going to go for the construction effort, although I'm not sure that it gives us two two civilian factories. Alternatively, I can already do the army effort just to be safe that we can get the land doctrine. Land doctrine might might save us as well. Okay, I'm going to do army effort first. Okay, and we're just going to have to cycle in the meantime, and keeping an eye on which divisions are retreating here. Okay, uh, they have ceased attacking here, but we do need to get one of the... Okay, infantry equipment one is done. So now we're immediately going to switch uh, to infantry equipment one. This is going to cost our production efficiency dearly. But um, I need those four, I need those, uh, this four construction to be co to complete. Uh, because the... Uh, to, to, do, to stop them from attacking, attacking Harar. Um, now we are going to use our industry bonus and we're going to get through the basic machine tools quicker and then to concentrated industry. So this is only going to take uh, 73 days. So let's get that done. Uh, they have stopped assaulting here. So we get another division. Okay, we've got four divisions here and they're, they're assaulting again. Okay, uh, but they have stopped, assault, stopped attacking Hara for now. Good, good, good. Let these guys entrench. But we do need to hold Addis Abeba, so uh, this division is starting to weaken. Uh, we're going to retreat them there and get the mountaineers back. And hope that the other two are going to be able to, um, to hold by themselves if they keep attacking. Maybe they did stop the assault. That would be lovely if they did stop the assault. Uh, I need five divisions in, in uh, Addis Abeba because otherwise it's... Nope, they're still attacking. Ah... Okay, but we finished the level one fortress in in here. So now we just need to finish up um, to finish up that fort to stop them. At, usually, I'd be trading for uh, I'd be trading for steel by now, uh, because this is kind of essential that I'm going to be trading for steel at this point. Uh, these guys, how much longer until they're there? Um, uh, okay, do retreat there. Get out of combat. Retreat there. Yeah, that's faster. I need them here. I need. I actually need five divisions stationed here. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move uh, one division over here, and because it now has a fortress, we might be able to do with three. So uh, let's get these out. And um, and get uh, Addis Abeba reinforced because that is problematic. We are running very already very low. Uh, this division. Uh, needs to retreat. We're already running very low and we, we're breaking our entrenchment. That's the problem. None of these people get entrenchment because of the constant cycle charging from the Italians. So uh, that is a bit of an issue. Keep an eye on the uh, on the command power because we need our field marshal in as well. Okay. Um, they have stopped assaulting here now. So I am going to... And they've stopped assaulting here. Okay. I am going to get one of the uh, fresh divisions back to Addis Abeba. And we're going to hold with two here, and we should be able to hold. Hopefully, if they stop, if they stop charging us, we should be able to hold. But Addis Abeba is where they're currently concentrating. We've got twelve divisions against four divisions that are holding, and um, we need to. Now that we've got some political power, we need to check if Mongolia would send us guns. Uh, actually, let's check first because we've already we've still got a little bit of goodwill from uh, Tanutuva. Do they have guns again? Uh, they do. So we just need to uh, improve relations again. I know that this is not ideal, but uh, this is what we're going to have to do. In the meantime, we do need to keep an eye on here. Um, we are retreating the one division. We're getting these. Uh, we've got five here now, so that's one too many. We need to get uh, we need to get one back here. Okay, and we get another division here. And hopefully we can reinforce this. Okay, we've got three divisions left here. Okay, we've got 40 command power. This is very important because this means we can now promote our um, our general. Uh, yes, and 
that means he gets he becomes our field marshal. Now he can instantly get um, he, he can get a trait. And let me double check what I wanted to give him. Um, uh, defensive doctrine, because defensive doctrine gives a thirty percent entrenchment bonus. Thirty percent on top of the values that we already have is going to be together with once we reach fifty army experience, together with the um, uh, together with the entrenchment is going to be a is going to be a game changer. We just need to hold until then. So that division needs to get there. Uh, we've got four divisions here right now. Uh, they're all engaged. Uh, one of them is starting to run. This one's running, starting to run low. Uh, and yeah, you see now they're starting to take uh, strength damage because they are relatively low. So I am already going to retreat them and I am going to move a second division in. Okay, they have stopped attacking here. I was really worried that I had to restart this whole, that I was going to have to restart this whole thing. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Uh, they have a, they have stopped the assault. Everybody dig in. Okay, they have stopped the assault. Whew. Uh, that gives us a bit of breathing space. Um, nope, they have started again. <laughs> Completely cycle charging the Italians. Uh, we have we are inflicting more damage than we are taking though, but uh, the problem is now production because we are. Uh, we are only producing, well, three guns, not, not even three guns a day. And the problem is here that um, that the uh, the efficiency growth is hampered by the lack of resources. So we, we're taking a 15% efficiency growth hit. This is why I need that civilian factory to trade. But I want to, um, I'm, I need them also to stop attacking Harar. They cannot keep attacking Harar. This is... I, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to maintain that if they keep doing that. <laughs> so um, I do need. I do need that fortress finished. So this is this is very unfortunate because that's going to delay us for a long time. Um, and uh, that means we're not going to be trading, which means uh, all kinds of all kinds of additional difficulties. So right now we're just sitting here and holding. Uh, which division is that? Uh, here, okay. Um, they are all. Uh, we have to keep an eye, but it seems like it seems like we're managing to we're managing to hold a little bit better now because if we're looking at the uh, at the assaults, our defense is now starting to kick in because the troops are more experienced uh, because of the uh, entrenchment plus the commander skills that we are building up here. Um, how many how many command points do I need to give? To give him um, the defensive doctrine. Uh, this is actually also really really useful. Offensive doctrine is really useful, but uh, defensive doctrine just scales so much better with the entrenchment. Um, it gives plus one attack and uh, it reduces the organizational loss when moving, so that is quite useful. Uh, we're also going to need um, division recovery rate, so charismatic is definitely what we want. But I'm going to go Defensive Doctrine for now, but I need 15 Command Power for it, so it's not going to happen just yet. Uh, fortunately, the air attacks have stopped, otherwise we'd be dead already. But uh, our, our divisions are now starting to get a little bit of a bonus. And you can see that even these tiny divisions are starting to become a little bit more powerful and um, are starting to be able to hold against the Italians better. And that's all. That's the key. We need to hold such that they... Um, such that they stop these attacks, but they will only stop these attacks once they have taken sufficient organizational damage. And in order for that, we need soft attack up. And in order for that to happen, we need better weapons and we need artillery. So uh, that's that's something that's going to need to happen relatively soon as well. Uh, army effort is going to give us plus five. We are at uh, 30, so I may have been able to squeeze another one in, but I really want the entrenchment because uh, that is going to be that is going to be pivotal. Uh, let's have a quick look if um, have a quick look if Tanutuva can give us guns again. Um, uh, yes. Okay. So uh, please send us. Um, oh, am I? Why am I? St I thought I stopped improving relations. No, no. Stop improving relations. That was way too much already. Uh, request land lease. Um, oh, that's okay. It, it'll degrade over time. So let's send that. Mongolia, can you send us rifles? Uh, you could, yes. So uh, we are, but I don't think we have sufficient deficit right now. Uh, we're going to ask them a little bit later 
to uh, to send us more guns. Because what we're going to be doing... Uh, 258 guns, that's a good set, yes, please send. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting to train up divisions. And um, then we ask Mongolia. We might actually do that already. So uh, we're going to start... Um, uh, training these divisions. Uh, no, not that way. The problem is the we have to, I have to keep an eye on the manpower. But I mean, I can stop training them again. Uh, low equipment priority. Uh, reinforcements is where we need to send the, the equipment. But now we're going to ask uh, Mongolia. And we have to gonna start improving our relations with them. We need to get that up to 40. And we we're going to be asking them for guns as well. So in the meantime, just keeping an eye on the army, making sure that uh, this division is relatively low. But uh, construction is still... That needs to stop. I'm not going to be able to win this if they don't stop attack attacking this province. And uh, I'm going to try, but um, this is a problem. <laughs> this is definitely a problem. And they're forced because they're forced attacking. They were forced attacking again as well. So this is a this is a huge issue that they're attacking here. I, I will try to complete this fortress, but um, uh, if that doesn't stop them, then uh, we may have to restart the run. And, uh, and and see how things are going. But yeah, this these guys normally never attack here. They always attack Addis Ababa. Um, they never attack Harar. So that is extremely unusual. And um, I am not sure why this happens. I've never seen this before. But uh, these two are actually... Spanish Civil War is kicking off. I am actually going to have to uh, to reinforce over here again. So... Um, these two are holding, uh, these four are holding relatively well. And here these guys are getting the fortress fortress uh, modification of 15%, but it's it's not great. It's just a single level fort. The problem is we can't build any better forts because, um, you know, we don't have the industry for it. Uh, army effort's almost done. Uh, a little bit early, but uh, we will try and see what happens. Let's check Mongolia. We will try and see what happens if when, when the... Um, uh, 29 still have a bit to go we need to go up to 43 uh we will still we we'll see what happens once we get the um once we get the hey we captured an, an italian operative awesome that is good because that's gonna probably give us uh let's see if it does give us a bonus um mm, it should give us it should give us bonus over time okay we've got three divisions here um that should be able to hold uh, but I'm not going to be able to hold Addis Ababa with three. And here, these guys are now coming under assault as well. Um, that division is low. Okay, we're going to have to try and hold hold the send, hold the capital with four. Uh, but I am going to reach. No, they are cons constantly attacking a lot across the whole line. Uh, they're doing make uh, doing some. Did they do bridges? Uh, no, it's just it's just the staff office plan. Um, we do have the command power, however, to give a uh, defensive doctrine. So I have, haven't paid attention, should have done that earlier. We're going to give him defensive doctrine. Uh, hang on, we could al we also, also our general has leveled up. So he could take adaptable, which is the climate, uh, this is a very, very good trait because it reduces the terrain penalty for us massively. But uh, we're going to go with, uh, with defensive doctrine first. Okay, that should um, hope that should that you see all these all these lines going down. That's because our max entrenchment is now at eleven percent, which by itself is not an awful lot just yet. Army efforts done, but wait until we get the the doctrine. Okay, now we need to focus on um, we need to focus on uh, getting another getting the factory factories up. So that needs to happen. Um, how long is this going to still go? Uh, if they stop charging that, if they, they have to stop charging that province, otherwise it's never happening. Uh, the problem is we are, we're still positive on logistics, but we are very short on guns. Uh, how's Mongolia looking? Uh, Mongolia. Um, uh, 
55, that's enough. So stop improving relations and ask them for infantry equipment. And they're sending us 119, that's all they have. Okay, I'm gonna stop, um, I'm gonna stop that recruitment because I am, I'm gonna need the, uh, the manpower soon. Well, we'll leave it up until we get, uh, until we get more manpower. Uh, has Tanutuva, um, uh, has Tanutuva more gu uh, guns ready? Um, we could, uh, they're not going to send us convoys. They probably, they have some, but I don't, they might not be able to, um, to send them. Um, they, they are, they are currently trying to deliver us the guns. So that's all good. Uh, we'll ask them once the delivery is through, we'll ask them again. Uh, we need to get to 50 army experience. That is our next, our next major target. And this, this division worries me, but I have nowhere to put them because, um, I can only leave them here and um, hope that uh, they're not hope that they're not running out of organization <laughs> and retreat somewhere because we have nowhere to retreat. I need a safe province that doesn't get assaulted. Okay, basic machine tools is there. That by itself is not important. That is important though. Uh, that said, we do need to get artillery as well, but I'm going to get the concentrated first um, because that's going to increase the amount of... Uh, that is going to increase the production efficiency. Uh, we do need to get our stability up. The factory output is, is suffering, um, but uh, we need guns first. <laughs> if we don't have guns, we can't fight. Uh, and yeah, this that that keeps that continues to worry me. From where are they attacking? They are attacking. This 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 is one division from the north. These two divisions normally don't aren't here. Normally they don't. They are here trying to attack Addis Ababa, and these guys are normally attacking Addis Ababa as well. But they must be somehow having changed their mind. And this is actually starting to become an issue. Uh, okay. Um, how is that looking? I mean, they have... Uh, they have... Um, uh, they have the multiple directions attack, obviously. But they, they're, they're, low on, they're low on supply. Um, they're attacking across river crossings. And we've got, we've got high... Uh, we've got high defense, so we should be holding. The problem is they never stop. So um, we're still causing more. We're causing more losses than um, than we're taking. The problem is the problem is the Italians are able to absorb these losses. We are not because we're losing. We're losing. Uh, we're losing a lot of um, of equipment as well. So this is once again uh, tricky. And yeah, this division is going to. Uh, I am going to have to retreat that division, which means I am going to have to sacrifice the entrenchment of one other division and send them back over here. Normally, I could cycle them out with fresh divisions from Harar, because that's usually the, pro the province they're not attacking. But um, uh, I, am, I am really going to need the, the civilian factory for um, that is currently on that fortress. I need that for trade. So uh, we've got one division retreating here, because three aren't going to hold. We need five here to hold reliably, and these two are coming under cons uh, are coming under attack as well. I wonder if it's the fort that's thrown them off. I'm not sure, but um, uh, uh, well, they have stopped attacking here now. Uh, we've got four divisions here. Uh, these four are holding. Uh, these guys are low. Um, actually, this province is is about to get into trouble here. Um, how's that looking? Come on, two divisions should be normally enough to hold these guys. They have stopped the attacks here. I don't know if it's permanent, but they have stopped them. Uh, I will, however, have to retreat one division here and send one fresh division over. Okay, uh, I want that cons fort cons construction finished as soon as possible. How long is it still going to take? Um, 20th of September, that is a long time. Uh, can we, uh, how's our lend lease hub coming al uh, along? Uh, Mongolia, uh, five days and 11 days for Tanutuva to deliver, um, to deliver the rest of the guns. But there are guns coming in, which is good. Uh, we don't necessarily want to train, but we're also not we were not diver diverting any equipment here because we're we're just on the reinforcements. So we will release these uh, these troops back from the training into um, 
into normal operations again. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, there's only one division here. They have to hold that. Uh, when is that division arriving? I need that division there now. I need it today. Um, this division. Okay, retreat there. You get out of combat, retreat there. I need that division there, otherwise, we're not holding that. And if we're not holding that, that's the end of the run. So. Uh, two divisions. Now we need to reinforce. Okay, they've reinforced. Okay, they've stopped attacking. Okay, good, 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 good. And we have the doctrine available. Oh, okay, Grand Battle Plan Doctrine, Trench Warfare. Entrenchment speed and max entrenchment. Now, let us uh, I'll show you what that, that'll do. So right now, my entrenchment, my max entrenchment is 13%. Uh, let's get that doctrine in. Uh, let's go over here and get that doctrine in. And if we're looking at these divisions now, once it once it ticks over, uh, right now, you see that ticking over? Max entrenchment 39%. So we are going to move one division out here and see if, if these two, because they're currently not under attack, if these two can get the entrenchment up high enough that the Italians stop attacking that, uh, then we might be nope, no, they they're still attacking. I I am I am baffled. Okay, uh, they they're still t charging, but at least these guys can now recover a little bit. I have the command power now though, uh, to give uh, my my field marshal hasn't, no he hasn't he's almost leveling up, uh, but yeah I've got enough command power. He needs the charismatic trait for division recovery. We did get the, uh, yeah, he's already got the division recovery rate, so that's already happening. Um, but I can give him the adaptable trait, which means uh, we are, uh, we can move around a lot easier at this stage. So um, I'm going to get these to retreat here. How far are we? Uh, that is, that is going to complete in... Uh, we can't progress because the, they're under assault. Okay. Keep an eye. Uh, this These guys are running very low. This is one we, we traded out with. Um, and this one's running very low as well. But uh, we have no safe space. <laughs> we have no safe province. This is the problem because they have nowhere to retreat to. Which means they can't recover their organization. Which means, uh, yeah, bad things happen. So right now all we can do is, is hold. There's nowhere they can go. Uh, they will retreat automatically. Yeah, they you see they retreat, which means I am already going to have to retreat a uh, another division over. And so we're not losing we're not losing Addis Ababa, but um, uh, at least these two are now starting to to dig in, and I need these two to be able to dig in as well. So I'm not trying not to move these and hoping that uh, the Italians will stop will stop attacking that. Uh, we're almost done with the fortress. They just need to. Um, they just need to stop. I don't know if it'll if it'll stop them. I have no idea, but um, uh, they, they they need to they need to stop attacking. Um, quick look at the uh, land lease. Uh, Tanutuva is done, so uh, we can ask them again. Do you have any more guns? Yes, you do. Send me those guns, please. And we can the we can get the charismatic trade. Yes. Uh, please. Division recovery rate plus 10%. Good, good, good. Um, we are... Well, we're still not finishing that up, but uh, we are holding 300 guns. Yes, please. Uh, what, what's the... What's the other... Uh, Mongolia is going to arrive in 15 days. There's going to be another 118 guns. And we are losing guns at the moment, which is not good. We are, uh, so these shipments are super important because we are actually losing guns right now. Because I can't get the production efficiency up and I can't get it up because I can't trade. And I can't trade because I'm trying to build a fortress here because for some reason the Italians are attacking. <laughs> okay, radio is done. Very important research. That's good that that's done. And now we're going to do, um, now we're going to research artillery. Because uh, we are going to need RT, and uh, I think we cannot ask for lend lease if we don't. I'm not sure, but I'll have to check. I don't think we can ask for lend lease if uh, if I don't have the technology. But uh, let's check Tanutuva. Um, yeah, uh, I can't ask them for artillery because I don't have the tech. So we're going to need. Uh, we will be asking also others like the Germans for artillery 
as again historically accurate and um oh they've stopped attacking Addis Abeba for now that is good uh, I need to get that entrenchment up for everybody so I'm really trying not to move the divisions around to get that entrenchment up because that plus the uh, experience level is going to save us for the time being and um so the problem is as soon as I move divisions uh, then then they are they are they're losing their entrenchment and obviously when they're in combat they're not being able to entrench any further so I need these guys to get their entrenchment up to 39% that would be ideal uh, what is the next thing we're going to do with army experience uh, let me check I think I, I was going to go for um, let's see uh, we could take the professional officer core this is giving me entrenchment speed, which is kind of nice, but um, and kind of free engineers, but we don't have engineers. Uh, I could go for static warfare next. That also gives me entrenchment speed and static uh, and max entrenchment plus ten percent. Yeah, I'm gonna go for static warfare next. So that's what we're either that or because my my generals are ranking up reasonably quickly, so it might be worth just doing bold attack first. Yeah, we'll do bold attack first, and then uh, we're going to go for the entrenchment after that. And they're still attacking here. I can't believe it. They are still attacking here. But now, look at... Uh, remember the values we had early on, right? Now we have a soft attack of 31. And that's down to Intel advantage, because we captured one of the operatives. Uh, it's down to experience. It's gone to the entrenchment, because that actually increases our attack. And uh, our commander skills and, um, and all kinds of things. And the defense... Uh, at the same time is going higher as well but uh, we are we are still losing guns we're, we're not we're not building enough we're almost done with construction effort then we can get another factory and the problem is is not the number of factories the problem is the production efficiency and that is down to steel because we need to trade for steel but we can't so um, I think the next uh, I'm the next one uh, again let me double check my uh, my notes here uh what am i going to do with the next political power um no i think i haven't really i haven't really decided on that yep so i think what i will do next is probably um go up to extensive conscription because we are running we're going to run low on manpower Alternatively, I can go down to free trade, which gives us an extra 5% factory output. Um, I can go to uh, total, no, that's recruitable pop down. Uh, to, I can go to war economy, but I don't really care. Yeah, it might give me an extra factory to, to trade with, so that's also useful. Uh, let's see, we'll, we'll say we'll bank some political power for now, uh, such, that, such that we can use it, uh, that we can use it as we go. But for now, it's just a matter of holding, waiting for... Uh, the biggest problem we have to solve right now is um, is, uh, is is the is the equipment. And we we're going to get a little bit in another... In six days, there will be some more equipment. But hopefully the... Yeah, as you can see, look at that. Uh, remember what that looked like. We, we were... We had to... We had to cycle divisions because of the entrenchment. But now look how the entrenchment goes up. And and see how how the values how the combat values go up um, due to our improved entrenchments. Uh, we can officer, modify the officer core. Uh, yeah, we don't want to. Um, we could get ourselves a theorist, but I'm not planning to do anything about uh, to do anything around. Um, I'm going to bank the army experience. I'm not going to do anything around that right now. Uh, we could get a chief of army but i don't really like either of these guys i mean we could get the division organization up that lasts them last a little bit longer but what, what what i would prefer is if one of my two here this one he's on level two and uh he's on le he's on level four which means uh he can um uh he he can he can i can get him into the military high command Unfortunately, uh, most likely the trait that he's going to get is um, his infantry leader, because he's almost there, which is going to give us additional uh, division defense, which is great, but that'll, that'll give him um, infantry, infantry specialist, and I already have an infantry expert, so I can't assign him. So I give, need to give him something else. Um, logistics might be nice, but he, he would need a, st a skilled staffer for that, and he's not gaining any of that because... Um, 
he would need uh, he would need to control at least uh, 24 armies so that's not happening um, uh, this might not actually be bad because this gets us up to logistics wizard so now that we've stabilized I think what I'll do is I'll rebuild these uh, I'll rebuild these front lines here and um, uh, no, we're not. Uh, yeah, we, do, we, we can do this on the field marshal level, and we're going to build an offensive line. Not, this isn't going to give us anything, but uh, but it is. What it is going to do is it is going to train our field marshal in in that skill, this, simply by the by the by the fact that we have that we are planning. Uh, he he will get he will get. Uh, we want to eventually get him up to the logistics wizard skill. So getting these field marshal orders in here. Okay, so that means he now should be uh, getting... Um, uh, we're using battle plans, even though we're not attacking, but we are using battle plans. And that'll eventually give gets him to um, a logistics wizard, which means we're having a minus 15% supply consumption. That is going to be important later on. This is just something we want to train up for now. So right now it's just a matter of holding somehow figuring out ways to stop them from attacking Harar, um, finishing up that fortress and trying to get uh, and trying to get more more guns. More guns are our primary concern right now because uh, we are we are running on a deficit and uh, it's gonna take again two days we get another hundred guns but yeah we're losing guns every day and that is bad. Uh, that is really bad because we, that means our divisions get weaker every day and uh, if that gets worse it might mean that I will have to stop the um, that I will have to stop the uh, the fortress construction here because anyway they are constantly under attack so there's not really an awful lot we can do here anyway <sighs> we might have to try and hold here with three and get another division over there uh, just to make sure that they're not not they're also attacking here okay uh, we need one more command point then we can oh, he, he got the infantry leader trade okay that gives us um, that gives us now uh, we, we can actually get the infantry expert sorry infantry leader yeah he gets that automatically so he gets the division defense is higher up again which means if we're looking at our uh, things we're now at over 200 defense because of the skill but um, we are going to need um, uh, the problem is he I could give him the infantry specialist but I don't want to I would love to give him uh, the army logistics or the engineer but I can't give him that either um, we need we could get camouflage expert but he would need commando for that and he's not getting that um, because the only trait that he's really getting um, and he's not going to get the engineer trade because he is um, this would also be super useful um, but we uh, for some for some reason uh, yeah because we need to attack for this and we can't attack for it was there any way to get this out of the out of the trades here um, uh, engineer, engineer trade XP gain plus twenty five percent. Yes, but we're not do, we're not getting anything out of that. So we would have to attack, but we can't. So we can't get the engineer trade, even though it'd be super useful for us for scavenging. Uh, okay, so the very next thing. Okay, we we are starting. That I think that was one delivery. That was how this has happened. So for now, we are going to give him the. Uh, we could give him the ambusher. That would give us um, another five percent max entrenchment. Uh, or we could give him the infantry expert and I'm going to go with the infantry expert because we are going to be nothing but infantry and plus 10% division attack is going to be super useful because we need the attack. We need to inflict casualties on the Italians to stop their assaults and that will help with the defense. So I think we're good enough with entrenchment. We're going to go for infantry attack here. And even though that is not going to be an awful lot just yet, um, it is going to it is going to spiral once we start getting once we start getting better um, better equipment, and we get uh, we start move um, we start moving our divisions over. We we just need guns. We need guns to move our divisions over to um, to, to start moving our divisions to the other template. Ideally, we need somewhere where they're not attacking as well for that to happen. 
Um, these two are worrying again, but they are building up the entrenchment. Okay, we got another. We got a free civilian factory. Um, one goes to consumer goods. That means two should go. Two should go here. Okay, we've got two civilian factories. That means we can now get another another military factory to build more guns. And uh, yeah, this is still concerning me. This is still very worrying. But these guys are starting to become properly entrenched. So hopefully these assaults here are going to stop at some point. And in total, we have uh, taken 19,000 casualties, uh, around about 50% of what the Italians have taken. But uh, the biggest problem is this one here, that we are losing equipment and we're not doing an awful lot to 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 get it so uh, we have a decision here what is it um we don't want to do war propaganda uh, we could do the improved worker conditions but we, we we do that later we need to get our stability up for the factory output as well but uh, war propaganda would give us uh, war support which would improve our uh, attack and defense which is good but um Maybe I'll run this for the time being, just to get the war support up a little bit more. And um, and uh, it, it's a slight improvement. It's 50 political power that we can spare at this point, because we don't necessarily need any right now. We don't have anybody else that we could get into the... Um, that we could get into the high command right now. Uh, I don't want this... Necess I don't necessarily want this guy in the... Um, in the uh, army de defense i would love to get my field marshal there but for that he needs to be um he needs to be level four but he is ranking up relatively quickly so i want him to be my uh, my chief of army and i want him to be uh to be in the officer corps unfortunately he can't really because um he needs the organizer trait and for that he needs to uh he needs to Oh, actually, he gets the organizer from Battle Plans as well. Okay, I might, might have. I probably should have done. Should have left that there because that will. Uh, he will eventually get that from the Battle Plans, and then um, he can become a. No, re we already have a regrouping specialist, right? Uh, um, he is. I think we already have. Uh, hang on. Um, yeah, he's already the, the recruiting expert. Okay, so that's not going to help us either. Now, we need him to have um, to have the army logistics trait. And uh, for that, he needs skilled staffer. And for skilled staffer, he needs to be... Um, he needs to uh, control 24 armies. So there's not an awful lot we can do with him, unfortunately, uh, in, terms of, in terms of high command. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, that's it. That's going to be it for today, for now. Uh, still, our, my biggest problem remains uh, the, this, this uh, province here, because they are attacking and they're normally not doing that. These guys and these guys normally focus on Addis Abeba. And um, that is a problem, because that means these divisions aren't recovering. Fortunately, uh, it looks like they've sort of stopped the assault here. So we may be able to use, uh, to use this uh, province as a, as a buffer province. And uh, don't have to use Hara for that. So uh, let's let's see how this goes. But um, it's a difficult war, and it's a hard war. And as you can see, it is at a knife's edge. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.